Even at his young age and with no training, a powerful ability would be brewing inside of Boruto, an eye unlike anything we had ever seen, which Boruto used to detect the evil influence of Nue, a powerful kaiju created by Danzo's root division from Hashirama cells. This eye would later become known as the Jorgon, pure eye. This sh this is so good. Bruh, okay. <clears throat> I got a little too excited. But Hashirama cells? Really? Again? Yeah. And this isn't even the last of it, as there are multiple arcs in Boruto that have them yet again. During his beginning semester at the Shinobi Academy, Boruto would use this power to track down the ghost of Konoha, the one responsible for these heinous acts of terrorizing the people, making their darkest thoughts come out, causing them to act violently. Boruto thought he may have had the Byakugan and asked Naruto to visit the Hyuga clan to test him. However, after sparring Hanabi, they determined he didn't have it. However, the pure eye kept activating to the point where he had a dream of Tenori. After warning him, Boruto is dubbed the Star of Hope that must save the world as the arrival of the gods is coming to destroy the planet. Elsewhere, Kinshiki informs Momoshiki about abnormalities committed by Kaguya, leading them to prepare to depart to Earth. However, brushing this aside for a moment, after investigating further, Boruto eventually discovers the culprit wreaking havoc is none other than Sumire. Nue was passed on to Shigaraki's daughter with the intention to spread chaos in Konoha. This would mark the beginning of a reoccurring theme in Boruto's life, of those he believed to be close to him betraying his trust as this is exactly what Sumire had done. She saw herself as nothing but a tool for revenge, thus unleashing new air upon the village. However, with the use of the pure eye, he opened a portal to another dimension, where he was able to defeat the rampaging monster. With the help of Naruto's massive Rasengan, Sasuke's Rinning Gun, and Boruto's pure eye, he is able to land the finishing blow to Momoshiki. However, things aren't that simple in this show. After killing him, Momoshiki tells Boruto that those who kill gods can't remain ordinary humans. Those blue eyes will one day take everything from you as he looks into his future and prophecy. As we know, it's here that Momoshiki also bestowed the karma onto him so that he could resurrect in his body as this marking on the palm of his hand acts as an anchor for the soul of the Utsuski who implanted it. This gives context to Urashiki going to the moon to seal Tanari away for 10,000 years as he was indirectly helping Boruto with his dreams, rebelling against the main branch of the clan. Because of this, Urashiki took a sneak peek into Boruto's future, declaring that he was a threat. However, a new power would begin to brew within Boruto, as his karma seal was about to take center stage, further evolving during Team 7's fight against Ao, where it fully activates. It grants him thousands of years worth of fighting experience from Momoshiki, putting him immediately in the upper echelons of Shinobi history. Boruto returns in his finest Ursula cosplay, turning Boruto into a wakamo. This of course pressed buttons that shouldn't have been pressed, as the next thing you know, Boruto is flying in the sky. Oh wait. <laughs> That's not Boruto, it's Momoshiki. The chakra fatigue from the fight put Boruto in a vulnerable position, which Momoshiki snatched up to possess his body. He borrowed a little bit of chakra from Naruto and proceeded to use his overwhelming power to kill Boruto using a giant Rasengan. The same attack that stopped him all the way at the start of the series. However, the use of this technique established how Momoshiki was learning the fundamentals of ninjutsu through Boruto, something that would otherwise be a foreign concept to the Otsutsuki. And so, Momoshiki repays the young lord by reminding him that his entire life will turn to shit. 